up and early and doing errands. I finished my workout and now I'm at Trader Joe's because I ran out of my favorite Trader Joe's hash browns. They're so good and I can no longer go through life without it. So I came here. Hi, see are here today. Roger. Well, they have their own name brand. I've been looking for this reusable bag. It's the paper bag. And it's here. Yay. Hello guys, good morning. Sorry, I look a little rough. I just finished my workout. I also squeezed in a little bit of um, morning errands this morning after my workout. Ran out of my favorite, 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 favorite Trader Joe's hash browns. You guys know that's literally my ride or die and I was like I need to have it because that's what I eat in the morning almost every single morning with avocado or eggs and while I was about to check out I saw that they finally have the reusable paper bag and if you guys shop at Trader Joe's you know this is like their logo like the paper bag but this is a reusable one and I was like oh my gosh I have been waiting for this to come back in stock so I picked it up it was like $4.99 and you can basically reuse it it still has like that paper feeling to it it's made out of supernatural paper and it can be washed if need be and used and reused over and over again it's durable lightweight and it's a nice size to hold stuff other than groceries and it is so cute literally the exact same as their paper bag but it's like reusable so you don't have to throw it and i was like i'm gonna get it a little grocery haul for you guys i picked up these if you guys have been watching my vlogs you know that this one right here tastes so good just pop these in your air fryer or you can do it in the oven i feel like the oven takes a little bit you know too long for me so i just pop these on in the air fryer for 10 minutes for 370 and they are so so good and then i did not have any more avocados so i just picked up um these mini ones they're not ripe yet I was trying to look for like, oh actually one of them is right, so I can probably use it. And I also got sriracha. I don't know if this one tastes like the same as the original sriracha, but I don't have the sriracha anymore. So I'm hoping that it tastes the same because I'd be very upset. <laughs> it's been a couple of hours since i last updated you but i am now in my kitchen as you can tell and honestly cooking lunch or cooking in general has become one of my favorite things lately only because hellofresh has made it easy for me to learn how to cook recipes like these are really really good and easy recipes that you can make at home and speaking of hellofresh thank you so much to one of my favorite sponsors thank you so much to hellofresh for sponsoring today's video i'm so excited to be working with them i love love working with them and i know you guys have been loving the hello fresh meals that i've been cooking for the past couple of weeks or past couple of vlogs and if you're like for you know what is hello fresh girl let us know tell me more hello fresh is america's number one meal kit and i generally love hello fresh because each box is packed with fresh and pre-measured ingredients the pre-measured is probably chef's kiss for me and obviously the fresh one but it's the pre-measured for me because once i start adding math to anything i'm like girl what what is this so so with the pre-measured ingredients you're able to use everything another reason why i love hellofresh is that all of the recipes that i've cooked so far in the past were all really really good and i'm so excited to cook today's meal we are making this tex-mex turkey stuffed poblanos with smoky red pepper crema and pickled red onion this does not sound so good like i'm like can i really make this at home can I really make this at home? Because this one sounds like a five-star restaurant meal. All of our fresh ingredients is packed in this little paper bag. Also, if you guys didn't know, HelloFresh has donated over 4 million meals to charity within the last year, like back in 2020. It's not that insane. We love, we love. We got the poblano peppers. We got a red onion. We got lime. We got the Mexican blend cheese right here. And we also have tomato paste. And we got one clove of garlic. 
we got the rice. I'm currently not eating rice right now, so I'm gonna pass up on the rice, but it also came with pre-portioned rice for you. And then we got the chicken stock. Then we got the Southwest Spice Blend, warm and smoky. And this is red pepper crema. Just went ahead and washed all of my dry produce. Half peel and thinly slice one fourth of the onion. And then quarter lime, half poblanos, lengthwise, remove stems and seeds, peel and mince garlic. And then in a small microwave safe bowl, combine sliced onion, juice from half the lime, one fourth of sugar, and a pinch of salt. We got the red onion, gonna squeeze quarter of lime. And then these measuring spoons, we're taking one fourth and then just adding that to the bowl. Then a pinch of salt. Feeling like sorbet. Ooh. <gasps> okay, so this is what it looks like. You guys can see I feel like the onion is like bleeding through, so I'm <laughs> just mixing it with my eye if I'm too lazy. And then we're gonna put them in the oven for 15 minutes. I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of oil. This smells so good guys, it smells so good. I'm now gonna add my ground turkey, which is this one here. And I'm just gonna pour it. Then I'm also gonna add the garlic, and then the Southwest Spice Blend. Let's check on our poblano peppers. Ooh. So next is we're gonna add in the tomato paste as well as the two chicken stocks and then one third cup of water. So I'm literally using this little rice cooker cup. That's where it comes in handy. Okay, so while this is simmering, these are our poblano peppers. I'm just gonna turn them over so we can stuff the ground turkey into these bad boys. And you're gonna leave some for toppings later. Oh my gosh, these look so good. I cannot believe I made this. Like, who knew? Sprinkling in the cheese. Is this not beautiful, guys? Is this not beautiful? And we're gonna pop them on in the oven again. All right, guys. Here we go. Alright you guys, so let's have a little taste test. They look beautiful and I just topped it with the crema and then the pickled onion and also added a little bit more lemon. So cheers. There's no way for me to eat this like really in a cute way. So cheers. Wow. Oh my god, that's so good. You guys know I love anything spicy. So I'm gonna top it off with Tabasco a little bit. 
I definitely like the spicy kick to it. You can add Tabasco, Tapatio, or maybe even like Sriracha and some like red chili peppers. But honestly, without those extra toppings, it's really, really good. So if you want to check out HelloFresh, I got you guys the hookup. If you guys use my code Farina Aguinaldo 12, you will get up to 12 free meals across your four boxes with HelloFresh. All you got to do is click the link in the description box and that's it. You and I can be like cooking buddies in the kitchen. So go out and try it out. This is honestly so good. I'm going to eat one right now before I head out to my doctor's appointment. Hello guys, good afternoon. I think it's about to be 2 in the afternoon. So I have an appointment at 2.30, it's about 2.10 right now. So I'm just kind of chilling before I go. Like look at the weather guys, look at this. walked into someone in the bathroom. She didn't lock the door, so it wasn't my fault. Whew. I finished my lab test. First of all, this is my first time going to the hospital, Kaiser, whatever, going to my doctor's appointment without mom afar, without my mommy. So I was like, oh God, like this is it. This is a sign of adulthood. We've reached this level of adulthood where we go to these doctor's appointments by ourselves. Number two. It had to be me. It had to be me. What is this lady doing? Oh no, I think she's lost. So I went for a urine test, right? They give you your stuff, you go to the bathroom. There were three bathrooms. All of them said vacant and I was like, okay, let me go to this one. I opened the door. There was a lady in the middle of basically, you know, saving her urine. And I was like, it had to be me. I was like, I'm so sorry. but. It's not my fault because she didn't lock it. And I was like, damn, like it really had to be me. Yeah. I so it's conscious. Whoa. Doing 90 Hi. on a jet ski. Um, can I please have one cheeseburger? Would you like onion? Yes, please. Okay. And then can I also have number two? Okay. Put onion on that? Yeah, can I make it uh, grilled onion? So you want one regular onion and one grilled? Yes. Oh, for sure. And then for the jingle, what would you like? Um, I'll have your pink lemonade, please. Okay. Anything else for you today? That's it. And the card fine for you or to go? To go. We have a cheeseburger with onion, the, uh, cheeseburger with grilled onion, one fried pink lemonade. Yes. If that will be uh, 11, 11 at the window. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, uh, sorry about that. Take cheeseburger, fry, and a pink lemonade. Yes. Lemonade, please. Thank you. Thank you. Ketchup, please. 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 Ketchup, just picked up in and out I think the last time I had in and out was back in January when I went to the beach but I just ordered number two which is a hamburger oh my god no there shouldn't be any cheese okay 